Okay, today I'm going to explain how to solve this simple trigonometric uh, question. Okay, okay, this is the trigonometric chapter for modern max. It's not for MX, so this question actually is quite simple. But then maybe some of the modern max students will feel challenging. Okay, anyways, okay, I just explained okay few information here he said qrs is a straight line being qrs is a straight line okay this is so obvious okay and then he give us the ratio qr and rs the ratio is one ratio two so i just mark down the information given so this one will be one ratio two so here will be one ratio 2 okay for ratio very important is that you have to know actually ratio is not the real value for the length mean actually one doesn't mean here is one centimeter two doesn't mean here is two centimeter this is just a ratio so we have to find the length here okay actually we can easily find the length here because this triangle have a 90 degree here mean this is right triangle when this is right triangle we can apply pythagoras to find here okay so i just do it a quick way so let's say length for r to s r to s will equal to okay square root of 17 square minus x square then you will get square root of 225 then you will get 15 okay if you already memorize this one you you can very fast know this is 8 15 and 17 okay so i do a remark here since i know the whole length here will be 15 okay now i got 15 centimeter for the whole length so how i'm going to divide for this ratio so very simple you just plus the ratio together so you plus together you will get 2 plus 1 you will get 3 okay so you use 15 centimeter divided by 3 you will know you will get 5 centimeter means each ratio mean each one ratio is equal to 5 centimeter so here qr you will get 5 centimeter and here got two ratio mean 2 multiple 5 you will get 10 centimeter therefore plus together is 15 and very makes sense that ratio 2 is 10 and ratio 1 is 5 that's simple okay after that he asked you to find the values of tangent y okay you want to find the values of tangent y okay because this angle of y is bigger than 90 degree already why i know this is bigger than 90 because because the angle beside beside it is smaller than 90 if this one is smaller than 90 of course this is bigger than 90 okay so we cannot find this this angle if we cannot find this value means we cannot find the side cos tangent without a right triangle so we have to borrow means we have to use the angle beside to find but angle beside this one we just we just borrow is this is not the real angle for y okay so after we borrow here okay means we borrow the space here to find the length here okay you want to get tangent y tangent y okay now you got angle here okay tangent okay this is this is y means okay this is why we borrow from the real y okay so y for tangent y will equal to opposite over adjacent so therefore tangent y I will get 8 over 5 opposite over adjacent okay okay this is for for the tangent y this one okay so the real value this one is bigger than 90 degree bigger than 90 degree means what means actually this one will fall in the second quadrant okay let's say we, we draw this one okay this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant okay this is all will get positive this one sign will get positive this one 
tangent will get positive this one cos will get positive therefore in the second quadrant sine only will get positive tangent will get negative therefore this one in the second quadrant so therefore the tangent y will equal to negative 8 over 5 you check plus another negative okay this is tangent y okay got a dot got got a complement here means got a dot here means this is not the real y means we just borrow the the beside y here to find to find to find the value okay but then why we can actually we can actually borrow is because actually if you learn this before in the first quadrant we call it angle and in the second quadrant actually we call it 180 minus angle okay what is this meaning means that if let's say tangent 45 okay let's say this angle e equal to 45 let's say this angle is equal to 45 tangent 45 will equal to 1 okay and then okay we want to know the second value um, we want to know the value for the second quadrant will be okay tangent 135 because I use 180 minus 45 I get 135 will equal to negative 1 if you are not believe this one you can actually press calculator therefore we know that actually if this is 45 and this one will be 135 both will give you the same value the only difference is one you will have negative one you will not have negative so therefore we can actually borrow the y from here to here means actually we we can use this y to find the value first and then we go back to the original y okay so now the original y is the second quadrant so second quadrant size will get positive mean tangent will get negative we just add a negative into here okay in order to make you understand more we let's have a look on the second example okay let's have a look on this example okay in this diagram he, he, he give you pqr is a straight line pqr is a straight line okay very simple he asks you find the values of of cos y okay this is isosceles triangle so what is happening now is this is 100 degree we are left 80 so means here you get 40 and 40 okay now this is 40 beside here will be y will be 180 minus 40 is 140 for y so he asked you to find cos y so very simple you just press calculator cos y is 140 cos 140 you will get negative something okay why i know negative because this y is bigger than 90 and smaller than uh, and smaller than 180 so i know actually this y is on the second quadrant so second quadrant means cos will get negative so i just press the calculator i get negative 0 0.766 okay means in the second quadrant cos will get negative so this is that easy so let's have a look on the last example here okay last example here same thing he said pqrs is a parallelogram and pqr is a straight line mean this is parallelogram okay what is the what is the meaning for par parallelogram will means that actually ts will parallel with pq and qs will parallel with pt okay now he give us some information okay he say sine uh, angle sqr sqr mean this angle will equal to 5 over 13 sine is opposite over hypotenuse so 13 is here 5 over 13 so using the pythagorean you will know here actually it's a 12 so how you get 12 actually you can use the 13 square minus 5 square and then square root of the answer you will get 12 okay now he want to find the values of pts pts he want to find this 
uh, this value, the cos angle PTS. Okay, same thing. This angle is bigger than 90, so we cannot draw a right triangle here. So we can borrow the place here. Okay. Mean actually, we can use the angle beside to find first. Then only we go back to the rear angle. Okay. So we okay. So we borrow the angle here. Okay. Now. We know this length will same with this length, so here will be 5. Okay, this length will same with this length, so here will be 12. So this one will be 13. Okay, obviously this is just a, a diagram. You don't, me don't measure here and here. Of course, if this length is 5, this length is impossible to get 12. But then, okay, this is just a, a, a dump example so you don't care re really about the length and all that okay so now you want to find cost pts mean you want to find the cost value cost will equal to adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent will be 12 hypotenuse will be 13 so let's say okay cost for pts will be 12 over 13 and the real value for cost in the second quadrant I say O will get positive sine will get positive tangent and then here is cost so in second quadrant only sine positive cost will still get negative so the value for cost PTS mean cost PTS you will get negative 12 over 13 remember you cannot use angle here to find cost mean you have to borrow the ang angle beside to to find the cost because this one is be bigger than 90 and then you cannot form a right triangle here so you you can just imagine another right triangle here and then you borrow the angle beside to to find the value for cost okay i really hope these three example won't confuse you a lot and then he will actually give you some idea how to solve the trigonometric question thanks for watching the video